Okay, so we landed on some pipes. So we are here now. Just continues to get weirder and weirder. This is a really cool, like, little game so far. And knowing that, like, the same people went from this and took what they learned from making this game and built Lazarus, which is just... I am so pumped for that full game to come out. All right. We are down. We made it. Okay. No notes. I figured there'd be notes. There's always usually notes right at the beginning, but... Unless I missed it. Nothing here. Okay. Oh. On, right on cue. While continuing my search for Zoe, I've come across a lot of machinery. It seems out of place. What's the purpose behind the machinery? Who built it? I've tried questioning the inhabitants, but none of them would give me an answer. Don't worry about it, they'd say. How much do they know? Marcus. So he's talking about the, uh, the same people that we had, uh, been talking to the Larrys and Garys of the world. Okay, nothing through here. There's a lot of blood right here, so it's the only place to go. I'm gonna have to go through it. Okay. Jeez. I'm just gonna run. Absolutely not. Don't break through. 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 Please. I really thought as soon as we passed that, he was going to bust out whatever was in there. Got myself worked up for nothing. Patient Benjamin Taylor. I have prescribed a small dose of antidepressants and begun to administer EMDR treatment. The combination of medication and this new treatment have been quite successful, as Ben has seemed much calmer during our sessions. While recounting the events at the Green Valley Forest, he still experiences heightened stress, but to a lesser degree than only a few weeks ago. I'll continue his treatment for the next few weeks and keep an eye on how the patient improves over time. That's right. Ben wasn't, he didn't see the door. He was at the, the campground where everybody died from that creature. So am dumb, am sorry. Please forgive for being stupid. Ooh, it looks like we're probably gonna have to go up there. So that's gated off, yeah. What about this one down here? Um, gated off as well, okay. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking that he was, he had seen the door in the basement, but he was, he was at the, which that's a whole other side of the story that I'm still, I'm confused on too. So I like maybe a creature from this like dimension escaped. That would be my guess. Okay, so looks like there's a couple ways for us to go. I wonder if we can go through this door down here. It's very dark. It's too dark. Okay. Maybe now. Okay, so since we got the prompt that it's too dark, maybe we'll actually find the flashlight now. So maybe I haven't missed it. That looks... Nope, that's a lantern. thought that was a flashlight. Okay. Got too excited. <clears throat> Looks like there might be a flashlight on the floor in here for us. Yeah, there is. Nice. Oh, hey, dude. Rude. Okay. All right. I guess we'll go in here and say hi to Larry. Larry? Hey. Oh, I didn't. Re I didn't really didn't think he was still gonna be there. <laughs> you doing okay, buddy? <laughs> you doing okay? Is this your flashlight? I'm sorry, but I need it more than you do. You don't have eyes, so. All right. I've met some strange people down here, but one of them is particularly unnerving. I've never actually met them face to face, but I've been able to speak to them through a small grate along the wall at various locations their sickly arm beckoning me from the other side. They claim to know secrets about this place, but refuse to tell me anything unless I bring them eyes. The ramblings of another insane inhabitant, most likely. But what if they really do know something about this place? Would I ever be willing to sacrifice an eye for information? Could it help me find a way out of here? Marcus. Okay, so we... What are you doing? Dude, like... Stop breathing over my shoulder, my guy. Like, that's just rude, uncalled for. Where are your toes? You don't have any toes. Your toes are gone. They took your eyes and your toes. You got abs, though. Something I don't have. Maybe they can give me abs. I'll give them my eyes if they give me abs. All right, see you later. So we came from that way. We're going to have to go back that way because that one area was too dark. That looks like a save room. Actually, let's do that first. So it looks like there's another poster up here. Elizabeth something. So we've got Elizabeth... And then these three other guys, we've got Larry. Uh, we've also got Marcus and Zoe. But Marcus is one of those guys on the wall there, so. Doink. Okay. Hello. 
Okay, so we've got lots of water. We're gonna have to drain the water, I assume. Yeah, more than likely. Let's be able to get down in there. Everyone down here seems unable or unwilling to talk about what is going on, but occasionally a piece of information slips out. When questioning one of the inhabitants about the machinery and what purpose it serves, they actually responded. The pipes siphon water to the abattoir. It's the first coherent sentence I've heard from one of them. I've tried questioning them further about this abattoir, but they've quickly reverted to the usual don't worry about it response I've been hearing from everyone else. I need more information. Why is there a slaughterhouse in this place? Slaughterhouse. Great. Great. Super pumped about that. I assume it's where we're heading. No, oh, maybe not. Hey, dude, how do we drain the water? Can you drain the water for me, please? I got a lot of stuff I got to do. Um, kind of in a rush. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> okay, we're good. Don't go in the water. Okay. I, I wasn't really planning on it. I was kind of hoping to drain it and then go in, but here we are. What's this? Discarded eye. Noise. Okay, so can we find somebody to give this eye to so we can get more information? Great. Hello, anybody here? I mean, he just told me not to go in here, but <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. I don't listen to you. It should. Okay, what do you over here? So what's that doing? Is that... I don't know what that did. There's something splashing around. So it looks like there's two more that I've got to... I've got to get. It's not raising the water, is it? No. Doesn't look like it anyway. Okay. Stay away from those. Nope. 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 This one here, doink. So what? What is like? I don't. I don't understand what those are doing at all. Not even a little bit. Oh, it is raising the water. Okay. Okay. That's not good. So I'm wondering if it's siphoning the water out of the other spot that had water and into here. Okay, there's that body sound again. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're so slow now. Please don't. I don't like this. Okay. Nope. I don't know if those things can, like, if something can hurt me down here, but I'm trying to avoid those splashes. Go, 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 go. Okay. Cool. So we got all of those. Um, so now let's get back. And our friend is... Nope, oh, he's still here. Hey, I went in the water. Oh. Okay. Got nothing to say about it? That's what I thought. Yes, that's what it was doing. Okay. We were emptying the water from here. So... We are good to go. Is there somewhere down here? Yes, looks like it. Let's go through the weird tunnel. Pretty long tunnel so far. We just hurt ourselves by falling down there. Um, okay, so now we're in another... S wait. Did that take us back around? It can't. No, 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 no. Because that the entrance was right there. Looks exactly the same other than that. Oh no, it's completely different. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I can't get through there. Okay. Through the door. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. It looks like the only way is up through this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh gosh. Of course. Of course it broke. Oh, jeez. I didn't. Oh gosh. No. Oh, okay. Puzzle time. Okay, cool. Great. Um, nope. Nope. <laughs> Guys, it's probably over. Wasn't ready for a puzzle. Okay. There we go. There we go. Nice. We got it. We got it. That reminded me of like Bioshock. Bioshock puzzles for some reason. Okay. There we go. So where are we now? Like where? <laughs> where? I'm so lost. I'm so lost in what to do. Oh, here's this guy. Cool. Secrets for the eyes. You hand over an eye you found. Okay, cool. The way is open only to those who have witnessed the unnatural. Only the eyes of one who has seen beyond their world can see the door, and only the witness may cross the threshold. It calls to them. Okay. All right. So we have to see the we have to see see the thing before we can leave. Oh no. I really don't have any clue what's going on. There's a, there's a doorway there, but I think there's a save room back here. We're going to hit up before we head down that way. Okay, so there's this door here that we can go through. There's also another door, but I don't want to... I don't know which one I want to go through yet. There's this door here that's... Why does it turn my flashlight off whenever I go through the door? That's really annoying. Um, I want to see if we can actually get through this door down here. Thingy here. Okay, so that one's locked. Okay. So we're going to have to go through this other door. Interesting. Okay, so... Hey, Larry, how you doing? Could you please, like, help me out of here? It's getting kind of old. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, let's see. Another note here. The Aberator. I knew it sounded important, but when I returned to the inhabitant that initially mentioned it, I found them dead. Apparently, someone or something doesn't want people talking about that place. Thanks to that one slip of the tongue, I have a lead. If I can find my way to the Abattoir, I might be able to find Zoe and get some answers. Marcus. So I feel like we're getting closer. However, I don't know what we're getting closer to. Quite the confessled about that. Dude, let me in. Come on, man. Come on, man. You jerk. Larry's always playing tricks on me. Oh. This guy is now dead, and this door is now open. Interesting. Okay. Oh, my goodness. anything in here the gate key okay so there's what we needed to get no jeez please don't get wrecked dude hey i think we're okay i don't know if he can come through this door since it's like a load door so that's good boy i was not i was not expecting him to be there or anyone to be there been unlocked. Let's go. Close that behind us. Alright. What's this? There's another eyeball. I guess we'll take this down and see if we can give it to this guy again. Excuse me? Not like that. Nope, not one bit. So is he still down here where we can give him the eyeball? Yes, yes, yes. More, more. Secrets for the eyes. 
Witnesses who are brought here will always carry a piece of this place with them, no matter where they go. Part of them will always remain here. We keep what we claim. Okay. I mean, that's that's kind of a given. That wasn't really a secret. I kind of assumed that the whole time. Okay. Lots of noises down this way. I don't like it much. Don't really like it. Okay, so there's nothing in this room at all. Okay, here's a note. I finally found Zoe, but something has happened to her. She's like them now, a blank, featureless husk. But it has Zoe's knife. The only words out of her mouth, don't worry about it. Did they all used to be normal once? Is the same thing going to happen to me? I have to get out of here fast. Okay, so it wasn't Larry that was stabbing us earlier. It was Zoe. Um, I assume, because it's the only one that has had a knife so far. Well, actually, there's a couple of them. The other one that had, like, the mannequin parts also had a knife, I think. So, one of them was probably Zoe. Okay, so there's this hole here. But there's also... Wait. Wasn't there a hole right here? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm going crazy. Like, legitimately in real life. I could have swore there was a hole right here. Boy. I need to take a nap. Okay, let's get through here. And... Ten minutes later... <laughs> crawling, we finally made it through. Boink. Ow. Bro, you gotta bend your knees whenever you're falling from high places. Or just land on your head. That's always worked for me. Okay. We are in the mines. Back in the mines, I think. Nope. Don't like that. Really don't want my flashlight to die. I'm not sure. There's. We could go another way that way too. But I want the dark way because my flashlight still works. Kind of. Keeps flickering in and out. What the hell was that? I didn't even realize. I thought that was just a wire across the top of the, the, the ceiling. I didn't even realize that that was the spider. I'm going to get lost. I'm going to get so stinking lost. Maybe. That's where we're supposed to go. Don't like that sound. Not even a little bit. Okay. There's our friend. Hopefully. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of them up there. Hey, what's up? Into the metal box. Seen no more. Okay, so let's not go into the metal box. Um, let's go up here. What's this? Okay, so we need to find something to turn that with. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's probably for that ladder there, maybe? No? Ladder's broken. Okay, so it's not for that ladder. Okay, so here's this lever, and there's another note. I've seen people being lined up at the front of the building. More mindless husks being watched over by those shambling creatures that attack Zoe and I. There's no way I'd be able to sneak past them and get through the front entrance. There are several wooden walkways suspended in the air. They don't look very stable, but perhaps one of those could lead me to a back entrance. All right. We go through here? Oh, okay. All right. So, I assume that that's kind of a uh, foreshadowing, maybe. So we can use these to get to a back entrance. So let's go ahead and get this on here. Okay, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Cool. So we can get across this fence now. Oh, that's probably not good if the uh, the searchlights are on us, right? Or does it matter? All right, here's another note. While observing the abattoir, I saw several people being brought here. 
They look normal, like me. Like Zoe once did. They are being placed into cages. Many are missing eyes, but seem otherwise unharmed. The area is being overseen by a large humanoid figure, dressed in a bloody leather apron. Where his face should be, there is nothing but mutilated flesh. I don't think there's any way I, I can help those in prison now. If that man with no face were to see me, dot, 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 Marcus. I mean, if he ain't got no face, means he ain't got no eyes, so how is he gonna see you? Okay, cool. Ladder segment. Nice. Now we can go back. And, oh gosh. Jeez. Why do you have to show up at the most inconvenient times? Jeez. What the hell? Gosh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate how he walks. I hate everything about it. But I do chuckle because that's the same, uh, the same character model that I used to make my twerk video. Uh, but let's hope he can't climb up a ladder. Uh, not like it matters because right now we are going to do that. And... GTFO of here. All right. Boy. Did not like that. Not at all. Okay. So we got a door here. It's jammed. Of course it is. Another note. While I was, un while I was unable to help this in prison near the abattoir, it's shown me that there are more people here that haven't been turned yet. If I can find them, we might be able to help each other. Someone has to know a way out of here. Maybe. I mean, if they're all, if they've all been captured and have had their eyes taken out, I wouldn't really count on them knowing how to get out of this place. So is there anything down here? Nothing. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's go. Oh, eyeball. Nice. Cool. So maybe we'll find another little arm glory hole thingy for us to, to give the balls to. Oh. Uh oh, is oh I that's the guy without a face, right? Is that him? The man with no face. It's very fleshy. Fleshy face. It's locked. Okay. Good, good, good. Super happy about that. I've seen more of those shambling things that attack Zoe and I. They don't seem to be concerned with more docile inhabitants of this place. They specifically seem to go after anyone attempting to find a way out, or any of the inhabitants that say more than they should like some kind of enforcer. I've tried to fight back against them, but nothing works. All I can do is run and hide and wait for them to move on. All right, so they're gonna come after us if we try to escape. So there's that. That makes sense, I guess. All right. So now we're in some kind of house. Interesting. This game is just all over the place. It's like they wanted to do a bunch of different games and couldn't decide on what to do, so they just combine them into one. Okay, I'm going to give that eye there in a second. Let's read this. I've been searching for other people for what feels like months now. I started to give up hope, but I finally met someone else. They wouldn't tell me their name. They were hiding in this place and say they know a way to get back home. Unfortunately, this way is through the abattoir itself. I really don't want to go back in there, but I might have no choice. Apparently, I should be able to find my way into the abattoir by taking the elevator up to the higher floors and then entering through a walkway. One small problem, the elevator is broken. What are the chances that everything I need to fix the elevator will be in the immediate area? I'm so tired. I don't know how much longer I can go on. All right, so now let's see what this guy's got to say to us. The eyes are the windows to the soul and what passes through those windows has consequences. Witnessing the unnatural leaves a mark upon the soul. The man with no face is patient. His work is delicate, but he will claim what is his in the end. Okay. So, Mr. Man's a patient man. So here's the elevator shaft that the note was talking about. So we're going to need to find the parts for it. I assume. Or at least like the lever to raise it. Okay, here's another eyeball. That's good. Um, we just find eyeballs now. We're like excited, like that's normal. Fantastic. Okay, well at least there's a save room down here. That's good. Let's go ahead and save it. Just in case. And there's also a couple ways for us to go, so. Okay, there's some weird banging sounds down that way. I don't really want to go down that way now. Let's go down here. Oh, we have to. Okay, that's a dead end. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know. So this area is called the back rooms. So. I 
there's some sort of like breaker box here. I don't know if we need to mess with that at any point or not. But here's another note. According to my new friend, the way out of this place is through a portal. The portal is apparently at the base of the abattoir, surrounded by large jagged rocks. This makes approaching the portal from the ground impossible. However, the portal is accessible from above. He says I'll have to hurry through. Down here, I'll gradually change until I become like all the others. Once claimed by this place, I won't be able to return to the real world. If I'm able to get inside the abattoir and make my way out to the top, I could jump off into the portal below. Honestly, I'm not sure if I have the energy anymore. What's the point in even trying? Finding a way inside that place, then making my way through whatever I find in there. All for a slim chance that this guy might somehow know what he's talking about it. What he's talking about it. Okay, that's confusing. Anyway, all right, let's go. Got this door here. Let's go through here first. There's another door down there we might need to go through. Oh, neat. The light just shut off on us. Okay. There's something here. Okay, so there's a code that we're going to need. Oh, we need power for it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to need to turn the power on. 4308! Ass! That was rude. 4308. Okay. <laughs> So that's probably going to be the code for the door once we get the power on, but dude, what a jerk. Let's go down here and see if we can work on the power. No, we can't even get to that. But there was that one room that had what looked like a breaker thingy on it. So maybe we can flip that. Yeah, this here. Cool. There we go. Jerk! Bro, where'd you come from? Oh my gosh. Dude. It's uncalled for. They did that in Lazarus too, where they'd have people, or well, the mannequin like creepy things would be in a doorway just looking at you, and you'd turn around and you'd just catch it out of the corner of your eye, and it scared the piss out of me. It's awful. Four, three, oh, eight. Cool. There we go. All right, we are through. It's another note. Patient Benjamin Taylor. The patient has made significant progress in starting his new medication and treatment. Discussing what happened at Green Valley Forest has become much easier for him now. He understands now that what happened was a complete accident and that it was not his fault. The monster he believed responsible for the attack has also diminished in his recollection. While he still doesn't know what it was, he admits that he must have simply been seeing things. I believe the patient will soon no longer require these sessions. Well, good. That's good. I'm glad it's working out for him. Okay, I'm still curious about what happened, like, really, like, what he saw or where he even was. Like, was he... Damn it. Why you gotta... Why? Dude, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to live my best life, dude. Could you go away? Oh, we're, we just ran in a circle. Am dumb. Okay. Hope they didn't see me. Let's go. Lift. Let's go. Dude! Why? Why would you do such a thing? My guy. Un oh, there's... There's two of them. Great. Bye, Felicia. Do, 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 do. I am leaving this place behind. I need to get out of here today. Oh, here's a safe room. Okay. Have we been here? Have we been here before? No, we haven't been here before. All right, so where are we now? Huh. This place looks familiar, though. Like, I feel like we've been here. I don't know. I'm tired. My body feels so heavy to move. I need to keep moving forward. I keep telling myself. But why? I'm not getting out of here. I'm starting to think the inhabitants are right. Don't worry about it. If I had never concerned myself so much with leaving, maybe I wouldn't feel this crushing weight right now. What is there to worry about? when I've got nothing left to lose. I'm tired, Marcus. So Marcus is getting worn down. He's losing all hope. So I wonder if we've actually ran across Marcus. So I feel like he's definitely not going to make it out of here. Me, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out of here. Marcus, is that you? 
What you watching? Mash? Okay. Wow! Don't turn off his TV! <laughs> that, that was a mistake. Never turn off a man's TV. I'm sorry. You can go back and watch Mash. That's okay. Here's a TV. No, that's not a TV. That's a light. What's that? What the hell? Is that Ghost Dog? Ghost Dog! Oh, gosh. I'm scared. Dude got so mad for turning off his TV, dude. What the heck? It's rude. You ever just stab somebody for turning off your TV? No. It's frowned upon in 17 states.